Hey guys, so in the Gospel of John, this 12th chapter, we see Jesus sitting and he's um, coming up on his death, right? When you see him, he's having a meal and Mary, you know, uh, the meal is being served by Martha. The disciples are there. Mary comes in and pours nard, anoints Jesus with nard, this burial perfume and, you know, cleans and, you know, like a uh, his uh, feet, what you know, cleans it with her hair, dries it with her hair, pours nard, like all this beautifulness that's going on, right? And so she is, she is pouring out her love, her worship for Jesus. Mary is is just getting it, and she is she is there. Of course, Martha, Martha's doing Martha's thing. Martha's serving, and Judas is doing Judas's thing because he said, "Look, this was expensive nard. It was worth about a year's wage," and so. You know, like, hey, this is expensive. You know, like, this is this is wasteful. We should have sold this, and we should have given it to the poor, right? We oh, we could have done so much with this, but you're wasting it. And isn't that the truth? That every time we get into worship, the devil wants to tell us that we're wasting our time, right? That we're wasting our energy. That we're wasting our gifts. That we're wasting everything. Because look, he can't take away our devotion, but he can make us be a Martha. And he can make us work, and he can make us try to say that we're, we're wasting things. So he puts us to so much work that we lose our luster, right? And so I just don't want you to, to think that you're wasting your time by loving God. Nothing that you do in love for God is wasting. Whenever you sing, whenever you're at church, you sing with all your heart, right? There is no waste, This isn't a waste that we did three songs in a row or that we repeated that course again, right? There is no waste there. And so just whatever you do to worship and love the Lord, do it with all your heart and there is no waste. Thanks for taking a minute.